Hi and welcome to my video about how to make a Pusher RC airplane. I've designed this little airplane in Blender. The idea here was just to make an airplane that would be very friendly to beginner pilots and in case of a crash would save you your prop. The motor mounting I designed the way so I can figure out the best thrust angle for this plane's configuration. Whether it's going to be upwards, downwards, or neutral, how is it going to fly the best? Also, I gave the wing a little bit of a back sweep to move the CG backwards, just to avoid issues with the balancing of the airplane. And towards the end of video, we'll see how it works. At this stage, it's only some blender work, but once I start cutting, then there is no return. You will witness whether I'm going to waste the material and make a fool out of myself, or the airplane is going to be successful. This project here was inspired by one of my Discord members, Spicy Bean. Hello to you, my friend. He kept moaning all the time in our chats that he keeps breaking his props. So I promised I would design an airplane having him in mind, and hopefully he's going to use the project, and he's going to learn how to fly. I remember myself when I was first starting. I kept crashing and breaking everything. I should have built myself exactly this kind of an airplane, just because the number of the propellers that I have broken is just unbelievable, and I find it absolutely annoying to wait till they arrive from the very well-known American online trading place. So here we are, so after cutting the materials I'm using a packing tape to reinforce and give a bit nicer finish. I'm putting the tape as I go and along the way goes usual beveling of control surfaces. It's good idea to prepare yourself a template for your wing airfoil. I'm using the cut in the fuselage just to have the exact profile and let's move on to the wing. The wing is very simple. I use it all the time in my projects lately. Just a single cut, break it in half, bevel ever so slightly the cut, and then just put them together using your template. The little L bar I taped onto the working mat, it helps a lot because it gives me the exact angle for every piece I am making. There you go, you check the wing, check the profile all along, and then reinforce it with the fiberglass tape. The dihedral in the design is supposed to be three centimeters at the tip of the wing because my two blocks of wood make it so I'm using one at the tip just to split the angle in half, and that's how I achieve my dihedral. Later on, you will see that I place the ailerons and the wing decor in a kind of funny place. The reason is, I designed the airplane with quite large wingspan to start with because I want to achieve sort of an easygoing glider-like experience in the air, again having a spicy and all the beginners in mind, so you guys can learn how to keep your airplane in the air. But later on, once you get the hang of it, you can cut off the tips of the wings and the performance of the airplane is going to be somewhat different. For the ailerons, I'm only using the bevel and a packing tape for a hinge. And that's your wing complete. For the rudder hinge, I'm going to use the burger wrapper just to make the hinges, because going only with the tape is quite dodgy. It's quite difficult to put the rudder exactly where I want it, so that's why I like to use these. So the rudder goes in place, and I secure the whole assembly with the packing tape again. Elevator goes in the same way ailerons did, just the packing tape hinge. Okay, now let's start putting the whole thing together. First goes the elevator, making sure it's nice and square. Likewise goes in the wing. I'm going to secure it only with a bit of glue because then that joint is going to be reinforced as well. You want to make sure it's dead on center and nice and square as well. Here I'm putting some reinforcements not only to secure the wing, but also since the motor is going to be mounted on top here. I want to have a nice and sturdy foundation so my motor won't go all over the place. And lastly, cross sections of the fuselage just to give it a bit more rigidity.
Now is the motor bay. The walls you guys want to double up and then remove the excess of the material just so the base sits nice and tight on your fuselage. I want my motor bay to be sitting quite tight so it'll be easier to play with the thrust angle. So just a few pieces of foam, a bit of plywood, and the motor bay is ready. Additionally, I'm going to reinforce it with the fiberglass tape as well. And now let's put it on top of the fuselage. I'm going to use a barbecue skewer peg. Firstly, I'm going to mount it on the pivot axis, and then once I put the motor in, I'm going to play with the thrust angle. This is the idea how it's going to work. Then I'm going to put another peg up towards the back, just to secure it in place. As I put my electronics in, please consider subscribing to the channel. It is only two clicks away. It really means a lot to me and really motivates me to make more of these videos. I would greatly appreciate it. The electronics I'm installing using just Velcro on double-sided tape. For this project, I'm using 2450 KV Motor 40 Amper ESC and a 3-cell LiPo battery. To tidy up the wiring, I'm using pieces of a fiberglass tape because I found it works so much better than ordinary scotch. To mark the center of gravity, I'm using these two little screws. I glue them in. It makes it a whole lot easier to find your CG. Now you can see me doing the rest of the rigging, servos, wiring, and the push rods. For this setup, I'm using 3-blade 5040ths counterclockwise propeller. Now I fix the motor bay, not using any glue. In the field, I am going to play with thrust angle, find the sweet spot for this setup, so I can let you know which one works best. Here's my favorite part, the stickers and decorating. Obviously, I can't miss out on the flyout logo as well. Lastly, the undercarriage, and we're nearly ready to go. I'm just going to stick those on foam and secure it with the fiberglass tape. The wheel's on and we're ready to go. Large wingspan flies like a charm. It's really, I would say, majestic glider-like. But then let me bring it down in and let's chop off the wingtips, because I'm hoping to achieve quite more snappy and dynamic performance. First setup is excellent to learn how to keep your airplane in the air. Really easy to fly? Let's see how she's gonna do with the short wingspan. As I was hoping it became much faster, much snappier, I'm really enjoying it yet, it's still very stable. 
You can do a lot of practice and a lot of training on this one, including some landing practice as well. Landings are my super Achilles heel, I so suck. Here you can see, after a crash, that propeller is intact. You just check the controls, brush off the grass, and you can chuck it back in the air. Another of the design requirements complete. She doesn't break propellers. But let's just bring her down, and let's have my favorite setup. I'm going to take off the wheels and see how she does. Yeah, with no undercarriage, she really turns into a proper Batman sidekick. It's really fast, snappy, very fun to fly. I'm loving it. Just look at her. If you guys are interested in plans and specs, please check the video description. 